It's finally out guys, Need for Speed Unbound. Well, it's out if you throw in a big box like me on a palace edition, but don't worry, I'm making this video so I can help you decide for yourself if you want to end up buying this game or not. Before we start guys, don't forget to subscribe as I'm trying to reach 9,242 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, controls, let's see if there is a wheel support, I don't see it here. Maybe I have, uh, I need to have my G29 plugged in. I'll, I'll be trying that later on, just after this video. Mm, keep in mind, this is me just discovering the game, just like you guys. So if this game is shit, I'm gonna say so. If the game is good, I'm gonna say so. It's really gonna be unbiased, so yeah. Uh, we have the story, we have the online game mode. I think there are no cops at the launch of the multiplayer, so I'm not gonna go with that. And also, I don't have a car, so let's just go with the story. Alright, we have uh, character customization. Uh, similar to Heat, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, there is no brown male character talk about inclusive right I'm just joking I don't I don't really give a shit <laughs> this is this isn't really what I'm looking for in a racing game anyway so I think I'll just be moving fast forward all of this yeah let's just see you have head clothing all right let's just go forward Alright, back. As you can see, there is a new thing that is called poses. I don't remember this existing in any Need for Speed. So I don't see the actual purpose of this. It's kinda cool, I guess, but uh, yeah, let's just go with that one. The swerve. Alright, let's go. Alright, so you got a Lambo as a junk to restore. I really know where, what kind of junkyard you're hanging out in. <laughs> But uh, we got the Lambo, we got the Sylvia, and we got the, the Charger. I want to go with the with the Nissan, but I'm um, not really sure because every game has this like its starter car. I, <laughs> so I I'll probably go with the Charger just for a change. Summer working on this car. Let me drive it already. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go easy, though. I don't want any surprises. So this is the start of a story. I think I've skipped some parts, so I don't know what the story is really about. I think it was about somebody stealing your car from your from your garage or something. All right, we've started in a pole star and in, in heat, and now we're starting with a. This is actually I'm really. I think I have a preference for this. Because in Heat, you start with a Polestar, a car that didn't really matter that much because it ended up in, an, like, in, a, in a river and that's about it. That's the last time you see the car. It didn't have really like a, a purpose in the story. This feels more natural. You're starting with a star car, a beat up car, a beat up Dodge Charger. So yeah. So yeah, first thing, handling feels like Heat. For me, at least, I've read some comments, people saying uh, in other videos that the handling feels different. 
I don't really see it. Maybe I'll I'll have to check later with the tuning if there are things that you can change, things that you can can switch. But so far it does feel like heat. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, the fact that you have to break or to drift in general just to make a, the slightest of corners. So uh, so yeah. All right, this we have seen in the trailers. The the nitrous, I mean the flames aren't as exaggerated as heat I'm really feeling neutral about that I really like the flames in in the exhaust uh, in heat some people weren't fan of that but I was but I don't mind this either so it's really one of those things that you don't really care about for me at least all right so what are we gonna have here oh all right all right, things are getting interesting. We're getting a race. Damn, would you look at that? Everyone got a like a maxed out car, and I'm just here with my beat up charger. Finally, we're off the bench and in the game. It reminds me of the the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, where the character has its uh, Monte Carlo, I guess. Uh, yeah, one thing you've noticed: there is a crash cam. Uh, not as obnoxious as the 2015 because 2015 the game starts for like 10 seconds this one is kind of subtle so I'm really a fan of that and also one thing to note I'm really fan of the city the city looks good uh, I think it's in Chicago so it kind of it's it's funny to say but it reminds me of um, I used to play when I was a kid I still played from time to time Midtown Madness and I think it was in Chicago and the city kind of feels the same because it, it has this like blocky like big buildings i've never been to chicago so i don't know what it actually looks like but it does look like what it was midtown madness like 20 years uh, before so yeah still break to drift i don't even know what position we are i think we're fifth is this normal that there is no um, like no um, table or something no screen that shows you what position you are all right yeah we're third all right also the dialogue feels like heat uh i don't know why there's also for some reason a girl uh sitting next to you and telling you shit. and this feels the same okay we got cops get cops in their dodges all right so what's gonna happen now yeah it's just a cop chase okay we got a race we got a cop chase i'm really wondering if the cops are as i've played heat but mostly on unite on project unite so the cops were harder so i can't really tell about the cops in the standard version but yeah, I'm trying to like grip corner or use grip handling. It doesn't seem to work. If I don't let off the gas or brake, the car doesn't want to turn. So yeah. Who knew you had him? Nice driving, serious. Nice. The crashes also feel like he. It might sound like I'm like just shitting on the game, saying it looks like he all the time. But this is just how I'm feeling, this is just how I see it right now. Well, I've played for game for like 30 minutes now, so this is actually the first time playing it, so... So my opinion might change, but so far, uh, beside the city and the graphic effects that, that were added, and don't really add much to the game anyway, this game does feel like he... Okay, another crash cam. Really fan of the city though. They did a good job on that. Okay. I really don't know what the story is about. Oh, we got some hills like uh, Tokyo style. Pretty sure there are gonna be drift tracks in there. Okay, some cutscenes. I think we've seen something similar to this in the trailer. Yeah, I remember this because I've made a Breaking Bad <laughs> uh, themed kind of 
trailer for Need for Speed Unbound. If you didn't see that, go check that out. It's on my channel. Breaking Bad and Need for Speed Unbound confirmed. Okay, I think this is the garage. We got the Aston Martin. All right, I'm hoping we can customize our car now. Okay. Yeah, we can customize our car. I'm just gonna put my my nickname, AK11, Alaska Route 11. All right. All right, customization. What do we got? Body. Let's look at the body kits. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh. Do we got the wagon? We got the Dodge Charger wagon. It was this was one of the first leaks that showed up in the game like back like two months ago. And everybody was excited and everybody was will there really be a wagon of a Dodge Charger and we have a confirmation it does exist so yeah as for the rims the wheels uh, same as heat so far where are the pizza and all those corny ass rims uh, so far they're just like heat okay 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 I don't really see some new wheels maybe one or two oh okay okay we got them we got them the panda wheels one thing I know for a fact that I'm never gonna use one of these wheels ever so it's just gonna be there maybe if I want to make a corny car a corny ass looking car but uh, a goofy -a car but uh, other than that yeah all right uh, so this is all we got okay mm, nothing oh I like these black all black wheels I think I'm gonna go with that if I go far in this game, can change the color. Nothing, nothing fancy. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the tires, maybe. Okay. I can see we got some some retro tires. We got some drag tires. We got some off-road tires. I wonder if there's gonna be like off-road races like heat. Uh, this might sound like an um popular opinion but I really enjoyed off-road races in heat call me crazy but uh, yeah it, it, they were mo one of the most fun races I've had in the previous release but uh, yeah let's see if we got this in uh, in uh, in Unbound by the way I just noticed that I have zero bucks which is kind of funny I thought if you get Palace Edition you get some money uh, to start with, but apparently not. I'm, I'm broke. Okay, let's take a look at the rear bumpers. Okay, I, I do feel that there are more customization options for muscle cars. Well, this is the only car I've tried to customize. I'll be making more videos about more cars when I start unlocking them, but so far I'm, I'm broke and I have no cars. So, but for the muscle cars, I feel like there are options new frames too that's good didn't have much in heat uh let's look at the actual license plate they said there were like some uh, the japanese uh, license plates i'm excited for that let's see if they got those we got some really cool ones in here oh that was good. Oh, i like this one Got the Rockport, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Alaska. I think I'm gonna go with the Alaska one. It's actually cool that they've put every state in. Uh, ooh, we got the Japanese one. We we found it. I think we got every every state in here, which is cool because I think in heat we had like I don't know two or three. I've played the United, so they added some. I think New York and and some of them, but. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't think we had much. A lot of a lot of cool license plates in here. I hope the rest of the customization is uh, is as good. Oh, there's the second Japanese one. All right, so what can we? What what else can we do? Tail lights. Nice. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, you can actually change the darkness of your... Uh, you can make them really dark. That's cool. Because in previous releases, it's either like you... I think you al you've always had the option to, uh, to go with dark tail lights and also, I think, front lights. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's take a look at their uh, headlights. None. I don't know, I've never owned a Dodge Charger, so I don't know if that's common to... Yeah, but uh, you can't change that. Uh, front bumpers, uh, splitters, not, not, I was gonna say not so much, but uh, way more than previous uh, Need for Speed, so, uh, so yeah. Um, I'm curious to see if I can uh, disable the, the cartoon or anime effects, like the smoke and all that. I've heard that you can't. You can I, I don't I don't really remember what you can and can disable. But now I'm looking at the list. I don't see where you can actually disable it. Maybe someone in the comments can help me out, but uh yeah. Alright, let's uh Let's see where we're gonna go. What is this? Meet up. I don't know. I think this is just a race. I don't. I didn't see like an option to actually uh, teleport directly to the to the position. But um, I don't know if it's gonna be like this that you have to drive to every location in your uh, in your uh, progress mode. All right. Um, okay. Boom! Crash cam. So as I'm driving, uh, I'm really gonna say something that, even though I've made a lot of comparisons with Heat and say that a lot of things that resemble Heat, I'm really excited for this game. I'm looking forward to actually go far in this game, unlock everything, unlock every car and customization part and also test out the online mode so there is there are going to be a lot of videos coming out so um, so yeah let's just look take a look at the tuning so you can actually change the grip yeah you can actually change the grip i'm gonna go with 40 percent drift but i think i'll be trying also the like full grip handling to see if there's any difference or not I don't actually remember if uh, i think in heat there was no option to change the grip handling i so anyway guys that was it uh, for this video i'll be seeing you in more videos about unbound i'll be taking a look at the steering wheel support the multiplayer all of that and on that note peace